Your vehicle is equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system, or TPMS. It measures pressure in your four road tires and sends the tire pressure readings to your vehicle. The tire pressure monitoring light located in the instrument cluster will turn on and an audible chime will sound if the pressure is low in one or more of your tires. Once the light is illuminated, one or more of your tires are underinflated and need to be inflated to the manufacturer's recommended tire pressure. You can find that information on the placard located on the inside edge of the driver's side door. Now, even if the light turns on for a short time and then turns off, your tire pressure still needs to be checked. Remember, tire pressures change with air temperature change. Keep this in mind when checking tire pressure inside a garage, especially in the winter. Tire pressure may increase from heat during operation. Do not reduce this normal pressure buildup or your tire pressure will be too low. Here's an important note, though. Do not try to use the TPMS warning light as a tire pressure gauge, as it does not automatically turn off when the proper pressure is returned to the tire. When the tire is properly inflated, you may have to drive for a bit before the system resets itself and turns the warning light off. The warnings may stay on, however, until all tires have been properly inflated. And here's a cool feature. The system can even tell you when there's something wrong with the system. The TPMS warning light will flash on and off for 75 seconds and remain on solid when a system fault is detected. In addition, a check TPM system message will be displayed for 75 seconds and a chime will sound when a system fault is detected. This sequence will repeat every time the vehicle is started, providing the system fault still exists. The TPMS warning light will turn off when the fault condition no longer exists. Please refer to the Owner's Information DVD for complete details and other important safety information.